Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at Bloodsport TV, which is available now or on the 30th of March via Steam, and we'll set you back around six pounds. It's currently got a 15% discount, and basically, it's a strategic defense type game set in a blood sporting type arena. So basically, I'm just going to run through the tutorial just to give you an idea of what to expect and just gives you an overview of the basics. Seeing as we have new blood participating today, allow me to be the first to welcome our new gladiators to the blood sports arena. You find yourself standing in the shop barrier. Here you can buy equipment with coins you get from defeating your enemies. But should your enemies happen to defeat you, you will be transported back here and nursed back to health after a short wait. Your task is to protect this, the Missile Silo. We ran out of willing volunteers to fight our gladiators for some reason, so we built this and aimed missiles at neighboring villages. So make sure you defend it with your lives. All our volunteering villagers enter the arena from these gates. Don't worry, they only come in waves. One wave for one village. If they fail to destroy the missile silo, we will send the missile to their village and the next wave will enter after a brief pause. You better believe that they are motivated. But don't worry, you are not alone down there. You have a number of outposts as a last line of defense. They spawn box bots who attack any enemy who gets too close. The outposts also reward you with coins for each missile successfully launched. But be careful! While boxbots can be rebuilt as long as the outpost lives, the outpost itself explodes violently if it breaks, meaning less extra coins. Before we begin, I recommend you buy a starting item or two. Enter the shop by clicking the shop barrier or the shop button and browse the available content. And that's it! Remember to return here if you get wounded and you will get healed swiftly. Okay, well I think that uh, gives you the brief overview of what to expect. So what we do, we'll buy some items from the shop. Um, basically, um, these T red health shots are quite useful. So we'll buy a couple of those. And um, we'll buy the butter knife to increase our damage. Okay, I think that's probably enough for now. So we'll just dive right in. It's imminent. So there's the uh, missile silo we have to protect. And then we've got all of these um, defense items that will aid our cause. Now, I will say this is a multiplayer type game. I'm playing it solo, but um, it's obviously more geared towards playing multiplayer with up to three other players. So I'm just going to sit here and attack. I'll automatically attack. You can choose your targets. And you can see down here on the bottom of the screen uh, my special abilities. Right, well, that's quite straightforward. Let's go and get this other group. I'll we'll just hack away at those automatically. And again, if I want to prior prioritize the target, then I can do so by right clicking. And there goes our first missile. So it gives us a bit of breathing space now to either buy more items or hunt down some of these extra beasts that are littering the maps. So for example, these hounds here, let's go and attack them. Now here at the bottom of the screen, you can see there's um, two points I can level up my skills. So I'm gonna put that into 
these two. And let's attack. So that's quite straightforward. Let's go earn me some extra coin. More over here. Right, the next wave is coming in, so let's not be too distracted. Now, there are other characters. I'll show you that in a minute once we've got the tutorial done. Right, and they're attacking the, the bots are holding them back. Now, here's a boss character. As you can see, the larger character. He's doing special attacks. Well, my health's being depleted, so I'll use that. I'm charging health and he's toasted. victory so that was just the tutorial very easy and uh, as you can see you get a point breakdown achievements and obviously your score will be um, compared with the other players right so let's do a proper match this time obviously we're in the amateur league so we'll select play I mean, those are games that are running at the moment. It's not released yet, so expect there to be more. So we'll create a new server. Keep that on one player. You've got various leagues that you can um, attempt, and we'll tailor it to just one boss and four waves. Just put in a password. And then we've got these various maps that we can use. So we'll try the Rubicon. I think we're good to go. All right, so here's your character select screen. Uh, there's two available in each class. Borg and Gunvold the Mad. As the Slayers, and that was the, what I just used in the tutorial. Uh, you've got Bruisers, which are tank characters. And then the Regulators, which offer a bit more of a support character and the Medicus characters, which heal, also support. So sorry, the um, Regulators are crowd control characters for dealing with the groups of enemies. So I'm gonna stick with uh, the Slayer, but I'll go with Gonvald the Mad. So you can see here, these are the various skills that he has available. And there's a bit of a um, overview of his character. As you can see, more can become unlocked as you progress. So let's jump right in and see if we can survive the mission. So first things first, buy some gear. And these red healths are extremely useful, especially when playing solo. So I'll just get 15 of those. Um, increases your attack speed is not bad. I mean, there are other items to purchase, defensive, offensive. But as you can see, they cost quite a lot of money. So we'll go with the nunchucks. Okay. Well, I think we're good. Let's go. So there's some nice um, looking graphics here. Conveying the blood sport arenas quite well. And here we go, the enemies are coming in. So let's attack them from the rear. I mean, those um, bots are keeping them busy. Yeah, easy peasy. So let them draw them in. And then the bots can attack them as well. 
Right, we've got to brutalize a boss character coming in. Slowing me down. Got to get out of that range. So do I take care of the lesser minions first that are chipping away at my health? Or do I take out the big character first? And they're going down. It'll be over soon. Oh, I need to heal myself. Oops, just got hit by that. One of my special abilities. So, much quicker attack speed now. My health is low. Right, wave one complete. So I can teleport back to the um, base quite quickly and stock up on items. And then I get a, a, a health recharge for doing so. Well, I've got a thousand points now. So let's buy some more health boosters. And we'll buy the Ripping Shank as well. Right. right. Let's go back to the front line. You can rely on me. They're coming from the back. <laughs> Let's get into position. Let's take them on. boss character trying to get out of there oh well, let's take him down use some of my skills yeah he's taking a lot of damage there he might look big but and intimidating but he's going down pretty quick We've got more enemies coming in from the north Or took major damage there. Need to sort of retreat. That's your service. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage here. He's going down. Nicely done. Just gotta watch out for that special attack, slow moves. Oh, I'm getting overrun here. Don't be afraid. <laughs> I can teleport back. I'm taking a lot of damage. He's toast. Just survived. You won't be needing to Trying to heal. But there's no group to heal. I could go back to the shop. Stock up on health potions. Okay, let's get back to the front line.
So yeah, if you're into tower defense style games, then um, this is quite cool. And so it's very cheap in price. No more than six pounds. But obviously it's going to be more fun playing with other human opponents. Sorry, co-op players. Not necessarily opponents. <laughs> Working together to take on these enemies and using different abilities. Right, we've got this boss character now. He's doing some serious damage. Right, let's get out of here. Very good. So my tactic is to retreat. Let the bots take some of the flak. But he has taken a lot of damage himself. So if I can come around the back. And he's toast. I've got more points to level up my skills. Very good. Now let's just hang back a bit and try and get them from the rear. And slow down. Let's use my extra speed now. You can see that speed increase. Totally wiping them out now with that speed increase. They don't stand a chance. Oh, I'm getting seriously damaged here, and I've been taken down. So now there's an issue of waiting until I can respawn back in. So they're free now to attack. Luckily, my bots are holding the fort. But now I'm having to wait. Three, two, one. And now I've got to work my way all the way back here. Luckily, my character moves reasonably fast. Right, let's come in from the rear again. Oh, that's going to destroy. Very good. Any miss there? So let's try and defend that. Oh, I've taken a lot of damage already. Went wading in there a bit too readily, and I'm down again. Right, and that's taken them out. But I would have lost all the bonus points there. Right, I'm back in the game. At your service. Right, this guy shouldn't be too difficult to take down. In fact, they took him down for me. Michelle launching. Very good. I think I can survive with what I've got here. I mean, I can just go back to the shop. See what's for sale. I mean, I could buy some more stuff now. I've got 2,400. Yeah, let's increase the critical chance. Buy that and I no, don't have enough for some of these things. All right, so we've upgraded that. Make some room for it. It. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, here comes a boss character. He's not taking any prisoners. He's doing a lot of damage. Stay out of his range. Get in there. And attack. Use my abilities. Increase that attack speed. He's coming in with a big attack. I'm not too phased. Right, get that attack speed up. Taking me out. But he's on his last legs. And if they destroy this turret here, they're probably going to get blown up in the explosion. Right, I'm back in the game. You can rely on me. But he's coming for me. No, he's not going to last this. He's toasted. The boss is killed. That's your service. This is the final wave. And we've completed it. Victory is ours. All righty then. Right, we did have a few deaths. But there's our breakdown. Okay, I think that gives you a good idea of Blood Sports TV. I mean, I can try and um, enter a, a game that's already in progress. But I think it gives, you get a good idea of what to expect. It's coming out on March the 30th and is yours for a very relatively cheap price. Let's just see what other games are running. And there's no other games at the moment. As I said, it's not released yet. So that's expected. Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thank you for watching. This is Blood Sports TV.